Welcome back to Chatter on the Wire. Let's see what trouble I got myself into this week.
so they had to get smart and start preheating some of the pieces. Uh, problem with that, maybe maybe not problem, but uh, as you can see, there's that nice dark black spot on top of the uh, furnace. That was because there is actually plastic in some of these uh, lawnmower parts that I got. I think most of these were uh, carburetors. Eh, it doesn't matter, whatever. Small parts, anyways, uh, had some plastic pieces that I couldn't get out. And so when I went to preheat them, of course, they melted on top of the furnace. Uh, I guess that's better than melting in the furnace and then smoking up there. But at the end of the day, it made a mess regardless of where I, I ended up having to melt. So you can see that small mistake here. three different uh, metals here. Uh, the top one there is the latest melt I did. Uh, there's the full thing. We're going to get a total weight on that today. But all these ingots are about the same size. So we have brass here initially at 32.1 ounces. Normal aluminum at 12 ounces. And the zinc aluminum mix and you can really see how that uh, shrunk there and has a nice divot in it. But this was from uh, the metal parts here that uh, we've been looking at here throughout today's melt. But this is at 26.1 ounces. So it's amazing how uh, that aluminum alloy is so much heavier. Anyways, I'm going to weigh up that uh, entire bucket there and see what uh, this last melt uh, all weighed in at. So, uh, not something I could do one-handed here, but we came in at 624.3 ounces, or 39, just over 39 pounds, or 17 point about 7 kilograms. Um, one of the things I do like about this metal is how clean it actually pulled out um, but again, that is a nasty divot there uh, on the melting, on the shrinking aspect of it afterwards. So something that I'll have to keep in mind as I use this. But that was extremely clean. Uh, no bubbles or anything else on that one. Uh, that's not the case on all of them, as you can see here. Um, but some of this was probably the early on pours. But it does have a lot of promise, minus the fact of major shrinkage. <laughs> Well, that's it for this installment. Please think about hitting the like button, subscribing if you aren't already, and clicking on one of the other videos. See you in the next one.